You can operate electric appliance by a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi RF module etc. But all those wireless methods work in a limited distance. But today I will make a wireless appliance that can be controlled from anywhere on the earth. This process handle DTMF. DTMF means dual tone multi frequency which is one of the technique for converting the analog signal to digital signal using this DTMF decoder. DTMF keypad is placed out like a 4 into 4 matrix in which each row represent low frequency, each column represent high frequency with this DTMF. When a button is pressed from mobile, it generates two tone, which is the specific frequency. One tone is generated from high frequency tone and low frequency tone. These tones are converted into digital from using DTMF decoder circuit. The DTMF decoder circuit using many electronical projects for better connectivity to control application. The main object of this project to control the home appliances like light, electric fan or something else by using this DTMF technique. Let's go deeper and find out how it actually works. This video is sponsored by JLCBCD. I want to make a professional circuit for my home appliances. I would not take risks to copper dot board for AC 220V. So I make a diagram and prepare a PCB layout. And I go JLC PCB website and upload a PCB garbage file. Also I can choose PCB's color as my wish. And you can also select PCB's layer that you want. The main amazing thing is only $2 for 10 PCBs. Even you are ordering this for the first time, no matter, it will be free shipping. After 5 days, I receive a box from JLC PCB. They also send me a gift in the box. And the PCB quality is too great. See this in closer look. Finishing quality is awesome. 8870IC only one IC which is cache dual tone multi frequency and generate a digital binary code. Let's check in practically. I mounted 8870IC in breadboard and this is running on 3.58 MHz so you need 3.58 crystal and filter resistor, pull down resistor and also 100 nanometer capacitor for filtering frequency signal pin. And I put 4 LED to see the binary output. The mobile is connected at one end of the circuit with the help of this mobile phone jack. The mobile jack is consisting of two wires. This pin is connected to the decoder IC and other end is ground. I set 5V in my power supply and power up this circuit and I call the phone which is connected to the circuit from my cell phone. Remember one thing, you have to mute this call from your phone because the DTMF IC generated 20 kilohertz. This is will work according to this datasheet. When I pressed any key of phone, those LED glow one by one that I already told you. Now the question is how to operate AC 220 volt. That's why you obviously need a relay. I used a 12 volt 4 relay. 8870 IC could not handle 12 volt. So I used a 2003 IC. Otherwise you can use a 4 transistor for drive those relay. This IC has 7 input and 7 output. Other hand this 8870 IC need 5V that why I used here 7805 regulator IC. You need to complete this project 12V relay, LED light, 2.2K resistor, 100 nanoparad capacitor, 5 screw terminal, 4007 diode, 3.58 crystal, 7805 IC and 5mm headphone jack socket, condenser UM2003 IC and 8870 IC. Okay, now I will mount it everything in JLC PCB board. After completing, it's look like more professional, right? And I insert 12 volt power source to the circuit board screw terminal. I connected 5mm 1x1 jack to my phone and other into the circuit board. And it is running very well. And now it looks very nice to see it. I hope guys you will like this video. 
this video is very useful so you can share this video with your friends if you like this video then hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to stay updated